Hello guys, we're back here with another bike review. It's been a while, but eh, I haven't got time to tune your shirt and all. But today we're going to be reviewing my mountain bike, which is a mountain era. She's a DRS mountain bike race edition. She's 29 inch wheel, 21 inch frame. Now, I like this bike. It's a very, it's, it's a very good bike to be honest with you. I'll just we'll go over some of the things that are on her here. So for a start, we have well she's three by eight. Got the three by eight gears, but bigger cogs on like the Kellys that I showed you last time that have the road cogs instead of the mountain bike cogs. And unlike the Kellys, the we the gear handles are here and down and behind here instead of up here. And the brake handle and the gear changer are separate and the dial is not up here, it's down here. Added a wee bell. Uh, this bike has also got disc brakes. It's got Shimano disc brakes on her. And by golly, there's some upgrade for me from going from pads to disc brakes. Um, she's got the XC, XCT San Centero uh, 28mm suspension on her which i think is a very good job just lock on lock off there um these aren't the original tires um i put on these tires these are uh, these are a set of midas tires that i put on to her the original tires were actually the these are 29 by 2.10 the originals were 29 point by 2.20 so I've got a bit narrower but I still think she's as good gripping as she'll ever be so I don't mind that too much now what else have we got um if you see that there I have a uh, the exact same speedometer as what's on my friend's Kelly's um it's the B4 she was B13 she's got switch over here and switch over Good enough job on her. Um, these aren't the original ha handlebar grips either. It was kind of a foamy handlebar grip with a bracket out here that tightened in against the handlebar. But the tightening bit was faulty on my grips, so I replaced them with these. They're not the best, but they're okay. They're not that long lasting. Um, another thing is, I put a Kelly's bottle holder on her because I would do a lot of cycling on the road and stuff, so kind of need the Kelly's bottle holder. Um, B Force light here on the back, very bright. I would recommend getting it, very good light, as well as this one here. I don't know what brand it is, but it's a good light as well. It was only 8 euro. That one there was dear enough. Can't remember exactly what it was. Uh, Might just tires in the back too. Um, as you can see, like, this is a Shimano cog, but like, the back cog's a lot bigger than on Cameron's Ke or my friend's Kelly's. But, uh, this bike here doesn't have the same gear changer. This one here has a Shimano Altus instead of the... I think it was Journey was on my friend's bike. So I... A nice enough change. Um, I still got a set of mud guards on her. I like... A lot of mountain bike people would be fond of the shop mud guards. But I like having these long mud guards for the road because... Uh, I wouldn't be a fan of getting soaked. She has a Shimano gear changer on the front too. She's got a set of, I can't remember what these are, she's got a set of these, or a set of these cranks on her. She had wee small steel pedals, but I, and I, I, in the winter I would have a habit of cycling with the work boots, so, but the wee steel studs and the old pedals were sticking in the work boots, so I replaced them with these bigger Kelly's pedals and I like them. They're a big upgrade, but they're not, nah, they wear quickly. That's my only real problem. Uh, this one here has Kelly's kickback stand on her as well. It came on her. A lot of people wouldn't really put stands on, but I keep it just for handiness sake because I do like to have a Kelly's kickback stand, to be honest with you. There should be four orange reflectors on you, or on her, but as anyone that does mountain bike will tell you, that won't last long. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I... I really do like this bike to be honest with you. She's very good. Very sharp brakes. Very, very sharp brakes. 
Which is what you want with discs, whereas Cameron's wouldn't be. My friends wouldn't be as sharp because, I don't know, V-bricks aren't as sharp as disc, but he put a new type of brake pad onto his. Uh, ah, it would have been in the video, eh? And whatever's about them, they're a lot sharper than the old ones that came on her. But, I. So, to be honest with you, if you were looking for a mountain bike on the cheaper side of things, because this bike here was 500 euro? Aye, 500 euro. So if you're looking for a mountain bike kind of cheaper, I would recommend to go for a Mountaineera. They're a Polish made bike, so yeah. The um, main reason I went for the Mountaineera was you couldn't really get a Giants or Kelly's because of Covid, so Mountaineera was the best, the best option. They were supplying away bikes to Ireland for some weird reason. So I right. Suspension. Aye. I really do like the XCT. A lot of people would say, ah, Fox or these other brands are way better, but for the bit small bit of mountain biking I'd be at, XCT is the way to go. And cheaper option. Um, that's about it, to be honest with you. Um, it's got Nico stems and all on her. Small bits like that. Why? Well, I hope you like this video. The next one, next couple of videos will be on a lot of older bikes. Um, next one actually be on a Rally Savannah. It's an 80s mountain bike with no suspension. So, hope you like that video guys. And see you soon. Bye.